What's going on guys? Queen of Eli, it's Monday, power day, a hustler's holiday, and we getting on Monday started right. We just got out the gym for a fantastic chest day. You see the pump, you see the sweat. Yeah, that's money right there. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. You see us repping the brand, vibe, you know what I'm saying? Always. So we out here just to get you a little glimpse into our Monday routine, our morning routine. So we get up at about 4.30. Uh, we meditate for about 10 minutes. Uh, after we meditate, wash our face, say our affirmations, because you know, prayer is about claiming what you want, not asking for it. God already gave you everything. You don't need to ask no more. You know what I'm saying? You just need to go ahead and take it. Um, so we come, we come every morning, we claim what we want early in the morning. We get our day started early, claiming what we want. Then we go out and take it. We won't go out and get it, we go out and take it. The body we want, we just got the money, made a stupid deposit. I probably put like 100 racks in the bank right now. How much you put in the bank? About 100. About 100? Nah, she was getting money. She was getting money. She was getting money. So we put the money in. I do my thing in the gym. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you Lift a little semi heavyweight for a lady. Let's not even say that. You just lifting heavy for a person because, you know, there's some niggas up in there that's, whew. That's That's They be looking at me like, dang, she about to lift him for Hey, they like they ain't eating their weedy. That's what it look like. But anyway. She about to jump squat that 60. Exactly. Exactly. I don't even like jump squatting the 60s. I can't stand that shit. But anyway, she gonna have my ass big fucking with her. I don't like doing her workouts. Because every time I get through working out with her, my ass hurt. And I ain't, that ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? They can't sit down, can't stand up, can't, what the fuck can you do? Anyway, so now we on our way back to our kids who are getting ready for school right now. Our daughter, who was 14, was the oldest. She's she not 14 anymore. Oh, wait, she's 15. See, when you got as many as I do, you don't really be remembering ages, birthdays, and even names. And my stupid ass gave all them the same name, meaning starting with a J. So I call them everybody else's name before I call them their name. It's, it, it's fucked up. I thought it was, oh, yeah, I'm going to start every name with a J. Now I regret that shit. I can't remember nobody. I bet you everybody name. do that in their household, even if they kids or not. I don't ever remember my mama calling me my brother. But it was going on in my household for my grandmama and everything like that. Because she knew. But kids, when you got a lot of Jamal, kids around you. You know, she knew everybody. We got like six kids growing up in the household with all it was six of us. But y'all didn't have, all have S names. Y'all had different man. names. She's like, Tony, I mean, Tracy. <laughs> well, she probably thought she was in the house and just called you, but then remember what you want. But I got Jamal, Jada, Janavi, J Jaylee. I called Jaylee Janavi and Jada before I called her Jaylee. And they they guess day. what? They could, uh, Jaylee, correct. I'm not Janavi, oh, yeah. I'm Jay. The little monster that we introduced y'all to. That's yeah. the she gonna let you know who what her name is. She gonna let you know she's not a boy, she's a girl. She gonna let you know, uh, you know, what she want early in the morning. She's a princess. She's a princess. She's a very demanding. But anyway, <laughs> so our schedule she's a very demanding. ends up with us. We got three kids in school, school age. One is in high school, one is in middle school, and one is elementary, and one is at home. So the three that gotta go to school. We gotta take them to school. So you're gonna see me taking Janavi to school, who's the character. And then JR, he walks with his homeboy, his friend to school. And then I drop Jada off, cause she's the farthest. And then I go do my business. So today I'm gonna have to, it's a Monday. I usually don't work on Mondays, but I have to today. So I'm gonna make the drop for Tracy at the um, water, store. water store where we sell our Vibe 90 plus CMOS. And then I'm gonna head straight to my job. So that's how the things going today. Uh, and then I'm gonna let y'all see what I'm doing at work a little bit. And then uh, she's gonna be at home with the little one, you know, taking care of her, making sure she's good. Um, and that's how our, our day goes. So I'm gonna check back in with you when we get with the kids and show you that part of our day. Oh yeah, before I go, I just want y'all to know that <clears throat> when you're building an empire and you have a big family, everybody plays a part and plays a role. Utilize everything that you have. Everybody in the house has a talent. Everybody in the house has an ability and everybody must contribute. The old ways of, you know, one person carrying the load for everybody, grandma taking care of everybody, or one person just, you know, take, it's, 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 that shit is out. Everybody has to contribute. And in the words of the Bible, if you don't work, you don't eat. 
You know what I'm saying? So everybody got to contribute. And like back in our days and stuff, you know, our moms and stuff basically tried to do more so everything in the household. And they had, um, they never really focused on, like some people never focus on their children or right. whatever talent. Right. And they just push them towards what they want them to do, but that's not the way to go. If a kid, want, if you see something in the kid and you see that they're good at it, work help on them. it, help them. It's all about building your family legacy even if it's a kid that have a disability and you know that they're struggling don't be a mom to ignore your child right. help your child with your they are homework and right. all that type of stuff because it will hurt them in the long run right so build your legacy by building up your family which is your first business i don't even care if you got a job your family is still your business and mom and dad you are the ceo of your family you need to run that bitch like a business and make sure everybody in the in business is doing their job and if they not you need to check their ass that's kids included even my three-year-old got a job okay <laughs> everybody got to do something it's time for us to take the first one my son already left he's walking with his friend so now I gotta take the little princess to her class. Girl, close your door. We gotta get up out of here. Yo, <laughs> mama, put the seat too close. <laughs> All right. Okay, wait, Say your name for everybody so they can know who you are. Hi, Mr. Nelly. All right. All right. Now, this is the girl that's going to be taking over our YouTube. Yes. We haven't set a date yet, um, but yes. she will. What grade you in, Janavi? Third. And how you like school so far? Good. Not okay. really. Not really? Yeah. What, what, what don't you like about school? A lot. A lot? Substitute. <laughs> substitutes. We hate substitutes, basically. So, we'd rather see our teacher there. Ain't it too early for substitutes? Yeah. Shouldn't your teacher be there every day? Mm -hmm. I think so. Because... Teacher. She's not your teacher, but she's a substitute teacher, so she's substituting for your teacher. Yeah, but she's not because that was irritating. She is so hurried. Right. Okay, so we are almost there. Luckily, her school is only two blocks away. The only reason why I'm driving is because I need to hurry up, get her there, get her back instead of walking. Gotta cut that time in half so I can get back and get the big girl to school, which is Jada who is going to be going to high school. You gotta watch out, cause there's a lot of cars, a lot of kids and stuff going on. These back streets is small. So. Wait, can I go some chips? So you got your lunch pack? Yeah. Did you, did you eat something for breakfast? Yeah. What did you eat? A canola bar. Okay. Two canola bars. With, um, that's like juice. Yeah. No, sit back, sit back, sit back, no. sit back. You no. know, even though we two blocks away, you still gotta put your seatbelt on, girl. You crazy? Because oh, it it's a gang of trash cans outside. Okay. No, put that it's down. Nasty. Put that down. All right, it's we are here. Smelling really nasty. Let me park. Wait. Let me get this. As soon as I park. I'll find you another video. You wanna come back? Uh, I'm not gonna get the video because mommy's picking you up. I'm gonna not pick you up. Your mommy's gonna pick you up. I just said that. I don't know. The yeah. Alright, okay. we are here. Right. So what kind of day you gonna have today? To the park. The, park. the school is the park. Uh uh, no, it's not. It's like a park. Because you don't learn at the park. You just play. Well, the school is you like a park. Y'all see me? I'm in my uniform because I got to go to work. Clean up, man. <laughs> I got to go build some shit. This is not I do not want to go to school ever again. So, you want to be homeschooled, is what you're saying? Um, definitely not that. Definitely not that. Park. Oh, okay, well, you can't go to the park if you go to school. Oh, no. Take a phone off. Dad? I'll give him kisses. Give him kisses. Give him kisses. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. See you later, alligator. Bye. Bye. I said bye.
Good morning, gang. What's up, Queen and Eli? Hey, look. I'm gonna care about all that. Look. So now it I got like booty inside this car. <laughs> Daddy got his machines in here, and it don't smell too good. So we need oh, to well. chop chop. Mm -mm. Cause I don't need the smell wearing off on me. Mm mm. Like every time, anywhere, I gotta drop this big head kid off to school. Gotta eat breakfast in the car. I only had my first burger. Okay, so what's your first breakfast? My first breakfast was my chai tea that I made ice chai tea and then What's what, chai tea good for? I have oat milk in it. I'm not sure what chai tea is good for though. I don't know, but it tastes good. It's tea. It's black tea. <laughs> so it got some sort of benefits. And then I had a granola, a chewy honey. I mean granola are so good. And then yeah. my second one, it's my acai bowl. Yeah. Cause I have two, four periods before my lunch. I need some good ass stuff on the show. Four hours. Then I got an acai bowl too. So, after I get her to school. <laughs> what are you saying? Heavy. <laughs> after I get her to school, then I gotta go to work. It's a busy day. Oh, before I go to work, I gotta drop this. See myself. That's the I have too much shit to do. Um, we'll be getting it done. So, what are you doing? Like a morning routine or something? Yeah, because I just want to show them. A day in your life? A day in our life. Well, yeah, really much a day in my life because Cause I'm doing every goddamn thing right now. Yeah, we're just recording when I'm driving. Y'all, let me know if y'all want to see a video of me driving in the car. Oh, we're going to get that video. That should be soon because we're supposed to start driving once a week. But that'd be a nice deal. Jada learns to drive. Since y'all love Jada so fucking much. Run them videos up, not just hers. Because I love you. She ain't the only one. But. Alright guys, how you doing? I'm at my first job and for today I will be building a shed. Yes, by myself I will be building this shed right here on this box over here in this area right here. So I'm gonna give her a couple clips. It's gonna be in time lapse because I know y'all don't want to watch that whole process in slow motion, but I'm gonna show y'all from beginning to end. I'm going to knock this out. Most likely, I'm going to knock this out in about four hours. You know what I'm saying? So, welcome to this uh, cleanup man show. And this is usually what I do. I got two jobs after this. You know what I'm saying? Because I put in that work. But uh, right now, I'm about to get this job knocked out. All right.
All done with this shit. Finished in record timing. I've been going to my next two jobs and I'm to the house. So yeah, that's basically what I do. I put people's stuff together. Oh, we got a little problem right here. Let me go fix that. But other than that, we looking Gucci gang. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so I'm at my last job for today. I'm looking crazy, I'm tired. I done built the shed and cleaned some carpet. Now I'm in downtown Long Beach doing a move out clean for a return client. Uh, about 75% of my clients is returned, so I got a lot of people that come back because the service is good. But uh, there's one thing I like about my business and about what I do is when you get to work with such beautiful views, how can you complain? You feel me? But this is my last job of the day. Two rooms, take a TV down that I mounted because the person's moving. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. It's over. I'm going to go home. Wifey made some tacos, vegan tacos. They're going to be busting. And uh, yeah, that's it. So this is just a day in the life that I want to give y'all a little sneak peek at. Like, subscribe, comment if you got questions on business building or anything like that. I can answer those. I've built a multi thousand dollar business, <laughs> six figure business. You feel me? But yeah, my lips ashy and I'm looking crazy because uh, it's been a long day. I was working in that heat. I know my legs got bit up. I'm going to feel it tomorrow, but it's all good. But look at that view. Look, look at how I end my day, man. Look how I end my day. How can you complain? You know, I work for myself. You know what I'm saying? So I create a space where I can see beautiful views like this, man. This, you got you to gotta love it. You got to love it. You know what I'm saying? Love what you do. Do what you love, man. Don't be good. Be good at it. 